Howdy, howdy everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to Garage Noise today. This is what we've got going on. We've got a Chevy Silverado here that we're gonna be repairing and painting the bedside, and this is the damage here that we're gonna be repairing today. Looks like a little side swipe or they brushed up against something, but what they've done is they've dented this body line in. We've got a crown right here that we need to work out. So we need to pull out this body line, get that back into specs and then tap down this crown, get it all ready for filler. So we've wiped this down, we've cleaned it off. What I'm gonna do now is take my belt sander and we're gonna grind right below this body line and we're gonna pull out that body line first with the G90E. And while we pull that, we'll dolly around this metal, knock down these crowns so using the Astro belt sander. Also going to grind a little place for the ground. So here's the ground and that will attach like that. But we need some bare metal to ground this out. So this is the G90E. This is an inexpensive uh, dent tool. It basically welds, welds the tip onto a low area and then you can slide hammer or pull it out. It's got different settings here. You can shrink metal. You could use wavy wire to pull it. Today we're just gonna use this tip and we'll pull out this body line. So I'm using this spoon to disperse the blow of the hammer to knock down that crown. Basically, we won't create a dent with this. Just the hammer, we might create a dent. Oh, well, that feels pretty good. Okay, so we have some little high areas here. I don't know if you can see those. But right here's one, and then there's one here. We need to knock those down, and we'll pull out the low areas next to it. So I'm gonna use this tap down with the hammer, and what we're basically gonna do is just tap down these. High. Okay, so now I've got this body line pulled out. We're gonna go ahead and grind this all clean. I'm gonna look for any other low areas. We'll put some guide coat on there so it'll show those high and low areas. And then we'll continue with the G90E to pull out those low areas. I'm gonna run over this with 80 grit sandpaper just to smooth out this metal, feather edge this paint. Okay, I'm just gonna use some flat black paint. Oh, we just need to put a light coat on this. This is just a guide coat. Show us our high and low areas. We'll sand over this with some 180 grit sandpaper just to show us our high and low areas. And then we'll be able to hit those with the G90E and get those pulled out. Okay, so we just got some 180 on a small block here. We're gonna block this in an X pattern just lightly. This will expose high and low areas. This is a metal slapper file. I'm just gonna run over this with this. We'll shave down these poles and it'll also show us the high and low areas. See how it shaves the metal down on the high areas? And it shows there's a high area there that's a little bit of a low. Nothing major, nothing that can't be filled with a little bit of filler. This is a better idea of what's going on with this metal. And we're not shaving down a ton of metal off this. It's just basically scratching the surface to show us what's going on. 
And I might use a slapper file to help straighten out this metal. I'll show you how we do that in a minute. Okay, so what you saw me doing here was I was using this as a slapper tool. So I noticed there's a high crown right here still, just a little bit, not bad. But I was using this to slap it, slap that crown down. So it's not going to create a dent. You want to use it flat if you can. You don't have to hit it really hard. And we're just tapping down this crown. And then I can run over it and see how well it's coming out. Trying to form this line right here it shows you where the high areas are and where the low areas are. There's a little high area. Slap it down. Spiral it. Slap it down. Spiral it. This isn't going to take everything out, but we might have to get in there with the G90E and pull this little low area. This can just be filled with a light coat of filler. It's very minimal. Now there is a little bit more of a low right in here and a little bit of a high right in here. So we're going to do a little work to that to get that a little bit straighter before we fill it. All right, we'll block over this again with some 320 grit sandpaper. High area, low areas. Okay, so now we can see the low areas here, right in here, right here. So we can go ahead and work those out with the G90E. These are just shallow areas. They're not really dense. They're just kind of waves. So we want to pull those out best as possible, get it straightened out, and then we'll go ahead and apply some filler. Okay, we're using the U-Pull Lightweight Gold today. This is one of my favorite fillers right now. Actually, this is my favorite filler right now. It's reasonably priced. Look at, there's no separation when you open up the can. No separation here. You don't have to mix it up. So we're just gonna scoop up a little bit. That's all the filler we're gonna need right there. I'm not gonna put my hardener right on my filler right now. Not until I get over to the truck so I can mix it up properly at the truck because this is going to kick quickly. So you pull lightweight gold, sands easy, really easy to work with, really good body fill. I'll leave a link in the description. Here's what we got here. We're going to mix it up. Um, I'm going to, going to fold this in. Now you don't want to stir it. That's going to introduce air. You want to fold it in until it's all one uniform color and there's no streaks in it. So I'm going to do this quickly. And what I'm going to do is I've already got this all masked off. All the edges masked off so we don't have filler around those edges or in our gas lid door here. I'm just going to lay a thin coat over this. We'll let it cure. We'll block it with 80 grit sandpaper. And that will expose our low areas if there is any. Okay, we're stirring this in. We're going to be moving quickly. See if you can see this. Make sure your spreader gets clean. We're pressing out the air. Just as I was laying my filler on this panel, my camera overheated and I wasn't able to capture that moment. So the next step in this process is we're gonna block sand this with 80 grit sandpaper on this medium sized block. We're gonna block it in an X pattern and we'll start leveling out this filler, shaping that body line, and then we'll apply another coat of filler to get this straight. If you wanna check out all that and see how to block and straighten filler, check out this video now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, subscribe to the channel and give me that big thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. We'll see you next time on Garage Noise.